and off they go. I suppose it's a fact that although there was no longer a war, there were still casualties. Um, and I, in the 50s and 60s, um, took up motor racing. But it was Peter Blonde in the HWM who decided Graham Hill wasn't going to have it all his own way and took the lead on the second lap. And um, there were some pretty frightening events. I was telephoned by Jean Bloxham, who was uh, a great friend of Mike Salmon's, in this, when she, he was in Tour Hospital after the Le Mans accident. So I got him back from Tour to East Coast, and then he was really very severely burnt. And um, he, su he survived, and he really improved immeasurably. Uh, same with Peter Proctor, who had this horrendous accident. You see marshals running forward with little handheld extinguishers. You think how primitive that was and how la what lack of thought there was in concern for people's injuries. 